In her quest to experience losing her virginity, she made a bold choice to try it with a zombie. Stay tuned to uncover the intriguing events that follow in our recap of the movie Lisa Frankenstein from 2024. Lisa is a contemplative little kid who finds it challenging to associate in her companion's local area. She could do without things like cosmetics and gatherings and inclines toward investing energy in a neglected burial ground. She even has her own one grave, which has a place with a wonderful young fellow. A couple of years prior, Lisa's mum was severely killed by an obscure psycho. Her dad immediately remarried a severe lady named Janet, whose daughter Taffy became Lisa's stepsister. Now Taffy is popular at school, while Lisa is an unmistakable outcast. However, Taffy believes that Lisa should fit in and takes her to a party to have some good time. There, Lisa sees Michael, the person she likes, and unexpectedly takes a spiked beverage, attempting to look fearless and cool. She gets high, and after one of Lisa's colleagues makes a net endeavor to make the most of her, Lisa escapes from the party. She is exceptionally screwed up and has visualizations coming back. For what reason are the folks from her school such jerks? Lisa wishes the gentleman from the graveyard was alive so they could be together. As she returns home, Lisa breaks a mirror in the restroom. Simultaneously, as lightning strikes the person's grave around evening time, Lisa has the most irregular long for residing in some other time and in a peculiar spot brimming with dreadful animal. Yet with the burial ground guide close by, in the first part of the day, Taffy awakens Lisa and illuminates her that Janet is a rake. The stepmother makes Lisa tidy up in the washroom, apologize for the wrecked mirror and pay for the enhanced one. So Lisa needs to take more moves at her temporary work in a studio. Michael visits Lisa there and brings his cowhide coat for cleaning. He also apologizes to Lisa for the spiked cut and she says that all is good at home. Taffy welcomes Lisa to join the family for a typical activity, but Janet continues to deride her. So Lisa passes. She enjoys watching unnerving films alone when she hears a strange noise. Lisa needs to call the police, but suddenly Someone breaks into her window and pursues her. She runs the entire way to her room and escapes the house through the window, but falls right on her follower who vomits into her face. Lisa shouts and frenzies and ultimately runs inside the house to call 911. Yet when she focuses harder on her stalker, she realizes that he is somewhat quite entertaining. So Lisa decides to conceal him in her room. She remembers him as the person from the graveyard who reawakened the earlier evening and now wants to be with Lisa. She tries to explain to him that it isn't what she wanted. Lisa would have rather not restored him. She simply wanted to be essentially as dead as him since life sucks. The animal starts crying with stinky green tears, but Lisa offers grace and solaces him. First, she takes him to the back room and figures out how the shower functions. After he washes himself, Lisa assists him with picking a new outfit to cause him to seem more attractive. The animal tries different variations and some of them shock Lisa, but in the end, she picks him the best look that really fits him. He is still a zombie and looks very terrified. So Lisa attempts to do however much she can for his makeover. When her parents and Taffy get back, Janet sees the mess overall around the house and attacks Lisa. She believes that Lisa is insane and should be placed in a noose. Toward the beginning of the day, the graveyard fellow assists Lisa with changing her style and she flabbergasts everyone at school. Janet plans for her work trip and doesn't see the zombie while performing her family responsibilities. So he places a worm into her food. Janet nearly eats the worm and shouts in fear as the burial ground fellow gets back to Lisa's room at school. Michael gives Lisa indications of consideration and she imagines that she could get an opportunity with him. She returns home and thanks the animal for his assistance. Janet blasts into her room and blames her for placing the worm in her dinner. She hollers at Lisa and takes steps to send her to a refuge. Yet the animal mediates and kills Janet. He removes her ear and watching this startles Lisa, yet additionally energizes her. Lisa assists the animal with disposing of the body and sews Janet's ear onto his head with the assistance of the messed up solarium and a digit of power. The animal can hear once more, and Lisa understands that a portion of his body parts can be redesigned and resuscitated too. She concocts an arrangement and welcomes her oppressive cohort out on the town. She lures him to the burial ground where her zombie companion assaults him, and Lisa figures out how to remove 
one of his hands and they kill the kid and conceal his body too. With another hand, the animal looks much better. He embraces Lisa and hits the dance floor with her appearance, his satisfaction and appreciation. He plays piano and truly dazzles Lisa while he plays, Lisa sings and feels. That they make an extraordinary group, after all, it makes the animal cry, yet his tears are still stinky to the point that Lisa can scarcely inhale, so she rapidly encourages him and calls him her rescuer. At night, Taffy chooses to call her mum, yet finds that Janet never came to the lodging. She gets terrified and stressed and feels that Janet has been seized. Lisa attempts to quiet her down and removes her from her room, while her father and Taffy call the police and report Janet missing. Lisa invests time with the graveyard fellow. She enlightens him regarding her experience growing up and shows him her old toys. Lisa welcomes the animal to rest in her bed, imparts to him her sexual dreams, and converses with him about Deeth. She's not scared of Deeth, yet needs to lose her virginity first. She finds that the burial ground fellow had intercourse once in his existence with a lady, he cherished. Lisa maintains that Michael should turn into her most memorable sexual accomplice and chooses to take action on him toward the beginning of the day. Taffy cries in view of her stresses over her mother and Lisa upholds her. The school is loaded with cops examining the vanishing of Lisa's cohort. Taffy feels totally discouraged, plays hooky and returns home. The school's head administrator and a cop grill. Lisa, in light of the fact that somebody saw her gathering with the missing kid outside school. She sanked him all that and won't respond to any further inquiries without a legal counselor while the animal is home alone. He hears Janet's darling leaving a voice message on the telephone about her vehicle. He finds Janet's vehicle, takes it and looks for Lisa as he finds her. Lisa requests that he drive her to Michael. The burial ground fellow doesn't have a blissful outlook on this thought yet does what she said. When Lisa approaches Michael's room, she finds that he is having an unsanctioned romance with Taffy. It makes Lisa extremely upset into 1,000 pieces, and she blasts into the room and defies them. Taffy attempts to apologize to her sister, yet Michael says that he never preferred Lisa, so she didn't actually have a potential for success to be with him. His words make Lisa significantly angrier. However, at that point, her zombie companion appears and goes after Michael with a hatchet. He removes his genal and kills him. While Taffy and Lisa are shouting after that, the animal attempts to kill Taffy as well, yet Lisa stops him. She sends him away and consoles Taffy, crying and wailing close to Michael's body outside. Lisa sees the animal heading out way and concludes where he could go. She takes Taffy and heads after him in the vehicle. Lisa has a sincere discussion with Taffy. She says thanks to her stepsister for continuously being pleasant to her and attempting to help her fit into the school's local area. Lisa apologizes to Taffy for hurting her again and again and leaves the vehicle. As she takes the hatchet and pursues the burial ground fellow, Taffy takes off. Lisa finds the animal close to his own old grave. She wants to kill him but can't gather enough courage. She can't deny that she cares deeply about him, so she drops the hatchet and hurries to her zombie companion. He grasps her, and Lisa inquires as to whether he loves her. Of course he does. The police will find them pretty soon, but before it happens, Lisa wants to make love to him. Sadly, the animal doesn't have the necessary male organ for the act of love, but he got one from Michael. Lisa respects such a heartfelt gesture, but they get interrupted by a cop who was watching the old graveyard. The animal throws the lady into his grave, takes Lisa, and they run home. There. Lisa uses her sewing abilities once more and fixes the person's problem. Then he kisses her hand and puts a jam ring on her finger, which means that they can make love now. He takes her to the bed where they slowly kiss and undress each other. They make love and Lisa truly enjoys her most memorable time. After they finish, they realize that the police are already on their way to their home. Lisa tells her zombie sweetheart farewell, kisses him and lies in the solarium. The animal closes it and turns the solarium on the highest setting. Lisa dies inside while the graveyard fellow reads her love letter and cries. Shortly after, Lisa's father and Taffy visit Lisa's grave and leave her flowers. Taffy sees an odd engraving 
on Lisa's tombstone calling her dearest spouse. Truly, everything isn't that bad. Incidentally, the animal resurrected Lisa and now they can enjoy their love and freedom forever. And that's a wrap. How did you enjoy the recap? Kindly let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe for more recaps like this one. Thanks for watching. We will see you on the next one.